Okay, guys, I'd just like to make a, just to really clear up this idea of friction. Um, when you have friction, it doesn't mean every time you have to include both surfaces inside the system. Um, this is really the way it's done. Either you include both of them inside the system, or you include both surfaces outside the system. What do we mean by that? So let's look at figure 9.10 and 9.4. Uh, where would that be? Let's look at figure 910. Uh, where's 910 now? And exercise 94. Okay, so here's exercise 94. Okay, here we had friction between the box and the earth, and it was included inside our system. So that's one way of, of, of dealing with it. You include both of those surfaces inside the system. Then figure 910, also, in this case, we also had friction, but there are, there's the two surfaces that, are, that are, are experiencing the friction. We've included both those surfaces outside the system in this, in this case, and in this case, we included both those surfaces inside the system. But do not put the boundary of your system between the two rubbing surfaces. Okay. I hope that helps.